Should you expect again after feeling disappointed? Have you ever felt like God has disappointed you even when you know that he cannot disappoint? Have you ever felt like you've prayed, you've tried all you can, you've tried seeking God in your own way as you would understand and it all seems like you're not hearing him or you're not getting the reply that you need from him or you're not getting a solution at such points what do you do does it feel like okay if god wants to do it let him do it if he doesn't want to do it well you can't force him of course you can so do you feel like not expecting again should you still expect even when you feel disappointed or forsaken the fact is that God never forsakes us. There is a thin line between our expectation and our ability to receive from God. Because sometimes our expectation could become so lazy, based off on disappointment over time. Proverbs chapter 13 says, Unrelenting disappointment leaves you heart sick, but a sudden good break can turn life around. By the time you're disappointed, you might consciously or unconsciously start learning how to not expect so much. But to God, if you start expecting less, it is contrary to your faith. God is a God that can never fail. You need to differentiate between God and man. That the Bible says God is not a man that he can lie. And you see also in James where the Bible says that every good and perfect gift comes from above, from the Father of the heavenly lights. Who does not change like shifting shadows? If you want to relate with God and receive from God and receive God's blessings and all of God's goodness for your life, you need to start to learn how to expect from Him. At some point, I was in that place where I did not expect so much from God. Even though I pray, you know, I pray, still do the Christian activity, but yet my heart wasn't really there because I was not expecting too much. I felt like if I don't expect too much, I won't feel the pressure, I won't feel disappointed. And expectation keeps you on your feet. You are eager to see the thing you expect come true. But when you don't expect, you become complacent. When you don't expect, you just dare and you just do the thing for doing sake. You just pray for praying sake. Not as if you pray because you know that your prayer has the ability to bring what you want to come to pass. To God, if you don't expect to receive will become difficult. If you have felt disappointed before for whatsoever reason by people or maybe you got offended because of religious mindset or religious dogmas or doctrines that were meant to represent God. If you have been disappointed by the church or by people representing God in a way that may not have really been God and you felt like God had offended you or God has disappointed you, I want to let you know that it is not God. That disappointed you. It might have been your church, might have been a pastor, might have been a minister, in whatsoever ranking they may have been. But they are not God. God is not man that he should lie. He said he will never leave nor forsake you. So God is not in the business of forsaking or disappointing you. God is saying to you, do not stop expecting from me. David said, for I am confident in this. That I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. That is expectation at work. So now, this is why your expectation is so important. Number one, your expectation is a foil and support to your faith. In the scriptures, we see faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now, faith is being sure of what we hope for, being convicted of what we do not see, which means you have to hope for faith to come. There must be an expectation, a desire, a longing from you as a man. Then you can apply faith. Your expectation is like the fuel that now supports your faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. So hope has to rise. Then faith is what will bring it. It's just like a car can't function without fuel. So your hope and expectation is like the fuel to your car to your faith for your faith to be effective you need hope so your hope is that support is that fuel for your faith if you give up your expectation it means that your faith is nowhere to be found because if there's nothing to hope for then there's nothing to have faith for if there's nothing to to expect there's nothing to believe for believing for something means you are expecting something and hope in the Bible is the confident expectation of good. You need your hope and your expectation for your faith to still be alive and working. If you want to say, okay, I wouldn't expect less, 
then that's not God's best for you. Your faith cannot operate at its optimal functionality when there is no expectation attached to it. When you worship, when you sing, whatever you do, there should be a longing. It might not be a longing for things. It might just be a longing for him. Secondly, your expectation activates your faith. The Bible says, by his stripes you are healed. So that is the word of God. And the Bible says that faith comes through what? Hearing and hearing of the word of Christ. So if you hear that faith is built, how do you now activate your faith? It is when there is a longing for you to go to God, asking for the healing by his stripes. You are sick in your body. So now you go to God and with the longing, the expectation that, oh God, I need the healing for this sickness in my body. That is your hope activating your faith. So you need your expectation. You need your hope for your faith to be active. Your faith comes from the word of God. It doesn't come from external objects. Your faith finds its object in Christ. For he is the author and the finisher of your faith. But then for your faith to be active, you need hope. You need a longing. For your faith to know God more or to have a deeper knowledge of Christ to be active, you need a longing, a desire, an expectation to expect more, to get more of him, more of God, more of Christ. You need to have that longing then for that faith to be able to express itself. You need to keep your hope alive by expecting continually from God in order to keep your faith in motion. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 that God is able to do exceedingly above all we can ever imagine or think. So I want to read it in this other translation, which is so beautiful. Never doubt God's mighty power to walk in you and to accomplish all this. He will achieve infinitely more than your greatest request, your most unbelievable dream, and exceed your wildest imagination. He will outdo them all, for his miraculous power constantly energizes you. So your expectation is of great importance for your faith to be active and in motion. When it comes to men, you can say the less you expect, the less disappointed you will be when they let you down. But with God, expect much from God. Expect so much more from God because God is ready to exceed that expectation. So if you expect less, you are actually downplaying God's power, God's mighty power at work in you. I'm trying to encourage you because God actually spoke to me in my time of just trying to be complacent. And he said, start expecting. If you're coming to approach me, come with expectancy. That's why the Bible says, now we can come to the throne of grace and obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. So God wants you to come with a heart of expectation. God wants you to come expecting so much more from him. Don't think that your dreams are too big because they are not too big. To you, they seem too big. But to God, I think it's just like the, the tip of the iceberg. It is just a beginning. God has bigger dreams, bigger visions for you. But because it seems like the one you have seems already out of your league, and you feel like, oh, my, these dreams are too big. If I want to think about my dreams, they become too big for me. No, God wants you to expect that much. Because the power to carry it out, the power to make it work is not you. It's not your power. It is God's mighty power at work in you. And if you know that his miraculous power, his mighty power is so great that he can accomplish everything that he has for you, that he even gives you the, the ability to imagine he can exceed that. It's just for you to believe, but you need the expectation to go before you such that you can attach faith. I hope you are encouraged. Start expecting. I am Uwe Mepan. This is my YouTube channel. If this has been a blessing to you, please do well to subscribe to this channel by clicking the subscribe button and then click the notification bell to get notified of the new contents that will be released. You can go through the channel and watch other videos and give this video a thumbs up. Let me hear from you in the comment section. Do not fail to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this video. God bless you. See you in the next video. Bye.